Okay, fourth grade, so I got cut off and I was trying to explain to you how to compare fractions. Um, here I'm going to demonstrate to you guys a one-third and a one-eighth. If I am drawing here, I just want you to remember that how many pieces you cut the denominator into when the numerator is the same, one and one. Which one would you prefer? One-third of this pi or one-eighth of this pi? Okay, so pretty simple to remember. Now I'm going to grab some problems off one of my Google Slides, and I'm going to show you how you compare without drawing. Okay, so without drawing, I have 4 12s and 7 24s. Okay, so I could reduce this fraction here if there's a number that goes equally into 7 and 24. Or I need to increase this to become 24 because 12 is a multiple of 24 so that I can compare with the same denominators. Okay, so if I want to make 12 24, I need to multiply the bottom and the top by the same number so that it's still the same amount. Okay, and what I mean, let me show you guys what this means. If I had one third and I'm comparing one third to let's say one sixth. Okay, so I can't reduce one sixth, but I can make one third the third into six. If I multiply times two and I have to multiply the top and the bottom so that they keep the same amount and I'm going to explain what that means. So 2 times 3 would become 6 and 2 times 1 becomes 2. Now I can compare the two fractions with the same denominators and I can see which one is bigger. And what this means, if I have 1 third and 1 sixth, okay, I can also do it this way and I can do one third or one sixth or from my new fraction that I made here I could also fill in two of these and I can still see that this was the larger. Okay so I'm gonna go back to the one that I was explaining now 4 over 12 and 7 over 24, okay? And you may need to go back and watch this video again. So if I'm doing 4 over 12 compared over, I'm sorry, comparing 7 over 24. Now, I can multiply 4 and 12 by 2 so that I can get the same denominator to compare. So if I multiply both of these by 2, then I get 24 and 2 times 4 is 8. And now I can compare the fractions with the same denominator. I hope that looks easy to you guys. You can go back and watch this over again. Okay, let me pull up another one that I can compare for you guys. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I can also compare 3... Sorry, three fourths and eighteen twenty four. All right, so here I can do two things. I can reduce this because there actually is a number that goes into both of these equally, or I can multiply these by the same number to make the denominator twenty four. So I'm going to do both for you guys. Um, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this one. Both can be divided by six. 18 divided by 6 becomes 3. 24 divided by 6 becomes 4. And then I can compare this one and this one, and I actually have equals here. Now, I could have also multiplied by 6, and this would have become 18, and the bottom would have become 24. Now I can compare the same denominators. Guess 